Next, uh, we look at uh, ideal gas equation. Combination of Boyle's law, Charles' law and Avogadro's law. Uh, for the Boyle's law, volume is inversely proportional to pressure. While the Charles' law, volume is directly proportional to temperature. And Avogadro's law, volume is directly proportional to number of the moles. And when we combine, we get an expression called ideal gas equation or ideal gas law. The formula is PV equals to NRT where R is known as the ideal gas constant. These are the value and unit of R depend on the unit of pressure and volume used in the equation. So if let's say for example, unit of pressure is atmospheric pressure, unit of volume is liter or decimeter cube, then the value of R suggested is 0 0.08206. And for example, let's say the unit of pressure is millimeter mercury or tau, the unit of volume is liter or decimeter cube, then the value of R suggested is 62.36 millimeter mercury liter per mole per Kelvin or tau liter per mole per Kelvin. Application of ideal gas law, density and molar mass of gas can be calculated by rearranging the ideal gas equation. So rearranging the ideal gas equation, there is an expression in the yellow color box relates the density of the gas from the parameters pressure molar mass ideal gas equation and also sorry ideal gas constant and absolute temperature so the formula will be d d stands for density equals to pressure multiplied with molar mass over <coughs> excuse me universal gas constant multiplied with absolute temperature uh, this is how the formula is derived. You can try yourself how the derivation works. Here they already show the steps. Okay, example one. A steel gas tank has a volume of 275 litre and is filled with a 0 0.485 kilogram of oxygen gas. Calculate the pressure of oxygen gas if the temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. So if you look at the parameters given in the question, the volume is given. Uh, mass of the oxygen gas is given, pressure is also given, and they sorry, pressure is not given, pressure we have to calculate, temperature is given, so we need to find the pressure. Therefore, we will use ideal gas equation PV equals to NRT. Before that, we have to calculate the N, the mole. Uh, we calculate by using the formula mass divided by molar mass. Mass of oxygen gas is 0 0.485 times 10 to power 3 gram we have to change the kilogram to gram divide by 32 gram per mole molar mass of the oxygen gas therefore we will get the mole of oxygen gas sorry it's a typing error here it's not co2 it's o2 gas which is 15.516 mole and then we can calculate the pressure using ideal gas equation pv equals to nrt v is uh, v is given here as 275 liter right and then we look at uh, what else here n is already calculated 15.516 that is already been calculated and then next is uh, r is 0 0.08206 temperature 29 degrees celsius please convert to the kelvin plus with 273.15 kelvin and therefore, we will get the pressure. Again, there is a mistake here. It is not 2.88 atm. That is wrong. It should be 275 liter. And because it is in liter, we have to... Uh, that's okay. We leave it in liter. So, it's not 2.88 atm. It should be 275 liter. And calculate uh, the pressure as 1.37 atm. So I would like to suggest to the students to recalculate this question again and tell me during our tutorial class if any problem in the final answer. Just one correction over here. So two correction over here. The first one is mole of oxygen gas, not carbon dioxide. The second one volume is not 2.88 atm. It is 275 liter based on the question. However, I do not know about the answer whether it's correct or not. Please calculate and uh, confirm with me during tutorial class. The answer given in the question is 1.37 atm as well as the calculation also shows 1.37 atm. 
Now looking at the second example, sample of chlorine gas is kept in a 5 litre container at 228 TOR and 27 degrees Celsius. How many moles of gas are present in the sample? Okay, so temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, change it to Kelvin, 300.15 Kelvin. The mole is what we are going to calculate. So we modify or rearrange the formula, ideal gas equation. PV equals to NRT, N equals to PV over RT. P is given in the question 228 TOR. Please convert it into ATM or atmospheric pressure. That is 228 TOR divided by 760 TOR. You should get the ATM as given in the answer 0 0.3 ATM. And then volume is given as 5 liter. Ideal gas constant is 0 0.08206, while the temperature is 300.15 Kelvin, and the mole calculated is 0 0.061 mole. That is the mole of chlorine gas present in the sample. Now, looking at example 3, a chemist has synthesized a greenish yellow compound of chlorine and oxygen and finds that its density is 7.71 .71 gram per liter at 30 C degrees Celsius and 2.88 atm calculate the molar mass of the compound so temperature given is 36 degrees Celsius you convert into Kelvin by adding with 273.15 Kelvin therefore you should get 309.15 Kelvin by using ideal gas equation PV equals to NRT density we also we also see the expression Density equals to, here they use the symbol rho uh, in previous video, in a previous slide, sorry. We saw D has been uh, denoted for the density. So either rho or D will be used. Equals to P multiplied with molar mass, pressure multiplied with molar mass, divide by uh, universal gas constant, multiply with absolute temperature. And then we rearrange the formula because... Bear in mind, we are going to find the molar mass or the molecular weight. So, molar mass will be equals to density multiplied by universal gas constant, multiplied by absolute temperature and divide by pressure. And the answer after insertion of all the values shows 67.9 gram per mole. Okay, again, I hope students will recalculate this answer and confirm with me if any wrong during our tutorial class. This is example 4. I would like you to calculate yourself and see whether the answers are correct or not.